Hi guys! So in this video, we're going over another choice for the virtual spring concert! In this video, we're going to go over number 86, Ode to Joy. So hopefully by now, you've seen the posts about our virtual spring concert that we're trying to put together. And you will see on the classroom, there's a list of song choices you can pick from. You only need to pick one song. If you want to do more than one, go ahead, but you only need to pick one. And in the videos all week, we're going over each choice, so that way you have something to listen to and help with. So this one, we're going to go over number 86, Ode to Joy. We're going to do it pizzicato and arco with our bow. Now, you might look at this song and think, oh my god, that's so long. That's so confusing. Well, you can do just a shorter section of this if you would like. Right there is a possible ending. So if you do want to play this song, and I'm going to play it in a second and you'll, rec you'll definitely recognize it. You can just play from here, the whole first line, and then up until this D half note. And you can stop there if you want. But if you learn the rest and you want to do the whole song, go ahead, keep going. You got some eighth notes here, and it goes on to be three lines. Now let's just take a very, very quick look, because we have learned the song before. And I believe there's an old video going over this song from early on in this digital classroom. But if we look, we're in 4-4, four, four, so four beats in every measure. And we start with F sharps, which we know is two fingers. Then we go to G, three fingers. Then we go to pinky power A. And another pinky power A, because after that is G. And remember, we use pinky power because the notes before and after are on the D string. So it makes more sense to stay on that D string than switching over, especially when we're playing Argo with our bow. It makes it so much easier. And then we keep going, we go back down, two Ds, E, F sharp, F sharp half note, two beats of sound, E half note, two beats of sound, F sharp, F sharp, G, pinky power A, pinky power A, G, F sharp, E, D, I hope you're starting to see the pattern that it goes up and then back down over and over. And this is a possible ending if you do want to do the song, but you don't want to do the whole thing. If you do want to keep going, you'll notice our rhythms change a little bit. We're not following that pattern anymore. We've got half notes, quarter notes, we have some eighth notes. And then that measure happens again here. And then the beginning does come back at the end with our pattern of going up and down. So I'm going to play the whole song for you pizzicato, and then we'll do it arco. So we're going to start at the very beginning, play the whole thing, Again, if you don't want to do the whole thing, but you do want to do the song, you can stop right here. So here's all of Ode to Joy. And always watch your wrist. Make sure it's right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, pinky power, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you might notice that the entire song is on our D string because of those pinky powers. So every single note you play is on that D string, not A, not G, not E. Now I'm going to pick up my bow and we're gonna go over it, Arco. And I just wanna talk real quick about when you're making your videos, make sure I can see your face and your instrument. Like if you notice with me, 
I move over so you can see my face and you can see my instrument. I'm not over here. I'm not down here. It's nice and centered. So try to do that when you're making your video to send to me. But now, oh to joy with our bows. And again, remember, it's always on your D string and watch your pinky. One, two, three, four. 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 that's O to joy. Again, just be careful on those eighth note measures. Like right over here, you have starting with an up bow. One, two, and three, four. So remember your eighth notes are twice as fast. E, F, G, F, D. Next measure, E, F, G, F, E. So just be careful with that. That's the tricky spot. But again, if you do choose the song, you can end the song right here. You don't need to keep going if it's too tricky for you. So yeah, so go pick your song and go practice, record, and send me your video so you can be part of our virtual spring concert and we can show how much you've been working throughout the entire year. So I hope you are doing well. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.